Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Quest 2, like what I'm using right now, as full body trackers for your Quest for your for VR chat. So this is a brand new way of doing tracking. As far as I'm aware, this has been done once before, but the method of doing it is now outdated. As well as this is fully standalone. There is no PC required for this. You can use your phone. You do need developer mode and side loading. There are plenty of tutorials out there. I will have one in the description of this video and on the itch page if you need it. So I'm gonna assume that you're gonna have everything already side loaded and ready. So like you're gonna have the app APK on the itch page. I'll take a screenshot and show it all and yada yada. Of downloading it and you can side load it. But next, we're going to be going to open the app. So if you've never done sideloading before, you've just enabled the elbow mode, it's going to be in here. And it's called Unknown Sources. You hit it there. And then it's going to be this app. It's going to be very close to the top. I did that on purpose. Uh, create a boundary. Sure, let's create a boundary. Why not? Uh... We're not going to be going too far with it. Can't really, so... Maximum Guardian. That looks good. Confirm. Great. Um, it's going to ask you for this. If this is your first time opening it. Hit OK. And you're going to have these two things. Recenter, if you need it. And boom. Okay. This is going to look very, very... Um, what's it called? chaotic but right for now i'm going to be disabling that this is your whole message if you want it but like you can this is all stuff pretty easy to figure out this is if you want to enable it i'll show that off in vr chat this is your time zone so if you don't want a time zone if you don't want to show it you can have like, which time zone you're in i'm in pst so you can enable the timer straight up disable it um, and if you're a madman, enable 24 hour time, as well as showing the seconds, so you can get rid of that, and showing the date. You also get your own keyboard to mess around with, so you can put in like, uh, subscribe. You can put anything you want here, by the way, and hit save settings. The next thing you want to do is go to your your secondary quest, your main, your, the quest you're going to be playing VR chat on, and get its IP address. It's going to be a local IP address. So it's pretty easy to do that. I'm going to grab it right now. Okay, so my local IP address isn't this. That's a local IP address. Mine is 192.168.0.26. This will change occasionally. Um, it's not gonna last forever. Like, you, there's a lot of things that can change, but this is gonna be local. Try DDoSing it, it'll DDoS yourself. There's nothing else that you can really get out of that for me. And you want to hit save settings after. This will keep make it so that when you relaunch it, like what I'm about to do right now, when you relaunch it, boom, it's all right there. So yeah. This is also going to stay. This is just because I want to be able to show off that I made this. 
It's just a thank you for using it, but when you disable that, that gets disabled too. So you don't have to. Next, you're going to want to put your quest into your straps of choice. I'm going to show off on my Quest 3S now. Okay. So, hello. So now, while you're on your quest, I'm going to show this off just because I want to be able to give you an experience of what the hell I'm doing in real life. I am going to be putting these on my feet. So I use a custom 3D print. I modeled this part. This is just a vibe tracker place. So you can like, you can 3D print this. It's on my, it's on the itch as well. It's the STL. And you can just like, just push it. Yeah, like that. There. That's in there solid. It's not coming out. Same with this side. Just push it in there. Yeah, these aren't coming out. Put on the shoes, just like so. Um, these are per, the, you don't have to do this by the way. You can mount these however you want. This is just how I chose to mount them. But yeah, Vive Tracker um, connections are what you will prefer. Like Vive Tracker connections are what you're gonna want for that. These parts. And next, if you have everything already set up, just hit VR chat. So, yeah, log me in. That's something I like for every quest headset beyond your accessories and whatnot because I'm really pissed off about my Quest 2. I can't use all the accessories that I got for my Quest 2 and my 3S. None of them work, not even my head strap, which pisses me off. Alright. I'm gonna go to a nicer avatar world. Where is it? There's a there's my favorite avatar because I'm the one responsible for putting this on Quest. So Invite plus, I don't want to be interrupted on this. I also don't want to be like, you know, okay. Okay, so I need to get up, get in standing mode. Um, okay, so you're gonna notice that isn't like, you know, your quest, hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, hey, this isn't your. Then you gotta, if that's not on, it will OSC. Okay, there we go. The quest turned off. So we already have, I already, I'm already showing. There is, I'm gonna turn off the debug menu. So right up there is your uh, time. I'm obviously, yeah. <laughs> but there's still a lot missing. So we wanna hit yeah. Now, this is gonna happen. Already noticing, you got that, but it's not right, you know? So, what you need to do is go into here, and you should find, yeah, UI and track. Auto recenter OSC trackers. Lift one foot up, yes. So I lifted up my right foot, that's the wrong foot. You wanna hit it, if that happens, which it will, hit it again. There, now that's the right tracker. So what you can do is you can just do it as normal, and there, that's it. It's that easy. Like, I can, and I'm actually wondering if this is quicker to do than um, vibe trackers. Like, yeah. Um, friendly reminder, plug in your Quest 2, the one that's on the floor, or your other Quest, that's the foot trackers. And like, I can even, jump and it's all fine like, i will never go i will never drift if the only times i'll drift is if i like smack it or something like if i get smack it really good like like what, like what would happen with quest the old quest controllers i'm not sure if that's still a thing but yeah that's really it 
it's that easy um, also yeah you gotta there's something in the quest that like checks for inactivity you have to disable that um yeah but yeah that's how it works that, that's how you the old ending sucked i'm gonna have a discord for support soon just share the project get it out there known